back for our week six for the last week. So this is the um, last story or the second story in mean the old man and the sea. This is the week six that we summarize and we also elicit some quote from the important quotation of this plan. So quote one, he have no longer demand a dream or star, nor a woman, nor a greedy occurrence, nor the great face, nor fire, nor content of strength, nor of this one. He only dream of the pleasant now of the lion on the beach. They play like young cat in the dust and he loved them as he loved in the boy. Since the publication of the old man in the sea, there has been much debate surrounding the story or symbol. <clears throat> Does the old man represent the author wearing the end of the, his career? Do the Vixia Sack stand for the cruel liter literally critic or inevitably destructive force of nature? While most readers agree that as the parable, the old man in the sea addressed the universal lie in the image of the lion playing on the African beach, which is represented three times in the world, <coughs> remain something of an image. Life poetry, like an uh, supremely uh, suggestive without being that to the single remaining in that to the only certainty about the image is that serve the source of the comfort and reward for the Seneca. This passage we can describe Seneca's dream on the night before he set out for his prison expedition on the first day that the narrative cover stimulously confirm and move beyond him where immediately recognizable vision of the universe. Hemingway made his career's telling story about the great occurrence, great fish, and contest strength. The fact that Zerigo no longer dream of any this make him unique among Hemingway heroes. Of course, by dreaming of the lion, he still in the recognizably Hemingway world body lion. Here are uh, at play and does such as Tom or Jot and ES. They are also linked explicitly to the Marlin and a connection that is made apparent at the end of the novel as the boy watch over his eye brain and set a gold dream of the lion return. Just then the stern line came taut under his foot, where he had kept the lob of the line and dropped his oar of fell and wet of the small schooner, shrubbing full as the hard line firm command to hold in, or in the, it in. The swimming increased in the pool and he see in the blue back of the fist, in the water, in the goal of his son, before the swarming him over the side. And into the boat, he lay and he stood in the sun, and compared and the ballad said his man. Unique Nijan, I staring, as he was cramped, his lie out again and the splanging of the ball with the quick sound and stroke of his net, fast moving tail. The old man hit him on the head of Kiny and kicked him, his body in still suddenly. Under the set of the stone. The passage which really describes Senegal hauling into the Shuna on the second day of the narrative exemplifying the power and the beauty of the symbol. Evocative the style of prose that is earned him away his reputation as a revolutionary and an influential generation of writer to come. Him was strength and mastery, like inability to render concrete but still. Imagine using family work and simple vocabulary. The scene about is instantly family, even to the many readers who have no experience hauling in fish. For instance, the compares and the ballad self, which is remarkably beautiful as the river and the sun on the floor of the skiff, Himalaya, load the passes and carefully chosen sound. 
We understand the repeating of the K and F and the sound in the last sentence. Just come remain motion like the breaking of the wave and again the boat or the side to side breathing of the fish body. <coughs> Right. And the best specimen is you. No, I know. Other better. Guess what? The boy said. There are many good fishermen and some great one. But there's only you. Thank you. You make me happy. I hope no fish will come along. So great that he will brew us rock. Marlin, Manolin and Zanigo discuss the best best. Baseball player and the manager is Malin Sagar and objective with the best person. Who said it's the Nico? Nico at first saw his humility by disagreeing with Malin assessment. Malin changed his compliment to say that Nico has his own unique way with the facing and Nico cannot disagree. He shockingly used the Marlin superlative to criticize a great fish that it might prove the two of them wrong for Saturday. He needs the battle with the Marlin, Senegal, take pride in his look and skill, and he accorded respect to the creature he hunted. Corporal Friendship, the unknown old man had taught the boy to fish, and the boy loved him. Here, the narrator introduced the relationship between Marin and Senegal. The simple explanation of their relationship conveyed just how the play fishing has bounded to friend. The boy and Marlin love Senegal in spite of his latest trick. Unluckily, they and it would still be fishing with him, if not for his parent honor. He was a very fond of fighting fish as they were his principal pin on the auction. The narrator related the Senegal field about flying fish. Our uh, favorite tie of fish in Kajit it Senegal we gathered them a creature with beaky house and mutual bound and such as train house. The line between friend and enemy blurs on now and noble, especially when considering dependent Senegal has on it. Quarter and respect. Respect, please, he said. I love you and I respect you very much, but I will kill you dead before this day ends. At the sunrise, on sunny goes second day at sea, he speak aloud to the lad the fish know his intention. Reader may find it out that Senegal want to kill a fish that he claimed to love and respect. However, his respect comes from the fact that he has never come across a fish so strong or clever and he value his self-respect as a fisherman more than he value his life of the world. Who does the study contact? Ernest Hemingway was born in Oxford, Illinois in 1899. The son of a doctor and a music teacher, he began his writing career reporter for the Kansas City City Star and eggs at age 18, he volunteered to serve as a rear Red Cross ambulance driver in the World War I and was sent to Italy where he was badly injured by subframe. Hemingway later personalized his experience in Italy in what is him considered a great novel. A farewell to arm in 1921, Hemingway moved to Paris where he served as a correspondent then for the current daily star. In Paris, he fell in the group of American English expatriate writers, including F. Scott, Fatigal, Regabon, Charlotte Stin, and Ford Maddow Ford. In the early 1920s, Hemingway began to achieve fame as the chronic clear of the sun fiction developed by many American youth World War I. A generation of youth forms stand morally the lost generation. 
In New Orleans, the sun also rise 1926 and farewell to M 1929. It uplifts him, dominant literary voice of the time. His spirit charged style in writing was revolutionary at the time and would be eminent for the better for the old by generation of young writer to come. Activity so and also the picture that is cry and the old man and the sea. That is uh, that we talking the connection between the nature. The nature and the human is like the sea and the creature and the sea and connect to the human. So thank you very much for all of you that pay attention and especially I would like to thank you all who active in the Zoom conference meeting, especially every um, nearly the end of the week, like Friday and also Saturday for the weekend. So thank you very much. I hope you get best score and I hope you get the uh, good grade from the other level.